Hey there friends, so today I'm unboxing the August Upgrade Box, finally. Yes, yeah, so this month the boxes were shipped a week later than usual, as an item did not apparently arrive in time, which to be honest was okay for me because it has been a very busy one, so I didn't miss it as I would have otherwise. Anyways, let's talk about the actual content of upgrade number 24. We received a lot of stuff, starting with a set of six Bruinzeal dual tip markers, one Graphmaster acrylic paint marker with a extra nib. I received a green big one. Apparently you can receive different sizes and different color, it's quite casual. Plus we got four Amsterdam acrylic paint markers from Royal Talent and six Koinor polycolor pencils in multiple colors plus the Artspace mixed media sketchbook as a drawing surface. Also, as in every box, we received a print from the Featured Artist of the Month that I particularly liked. I also liked a lot the stickers we received. Now, before we swatch all these goodies, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you like these kind of videos also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the many many videos i have in mind for the future of this channel and now that that's over let's talk about the materials shall we first let's talk about the sketchbook from artspace that we received it is a mixed media sketchbook and has got 180 gsm paper quite thick and fine grain uh, perfect basically for the materials we received that are colored pencils and water-based markers I've started swatching the Bruin Seal dual tip markers, which as you can see have a brush tip on one side and a fine liner sort of tip on the other. And I quite like the color palette of this set, it's pretty appealing to me. Um, but these are not my favorite dual tip markers, I've tried. And this is because of the fine liners mainly. Um, they went out on me basically after a few lines, most of them. And um, But maybe it was my set that was defective. Actually, let me know in the comments if you received the box what uh, experience you had with the fine liners. So the color names you see me writing down are not on the actual markers. I haven't seen colors name anywhere on the box or markers, which for artist supplies I find quite weird, but not important anyways. The next thing I swatched were the Koinor colored pencils. Uh, in this case, uh, the color palette um, was a bit more random, or so it looked to me. These have an oiled based lead, which gives the color pigment excellent light fastness, and they are water resistant. I really like these. They are a bit softer than uh, a polychromos, I would say, and um, they have a, a bit of a crumbly lead if you sharpen them too much but I find they blend pretty well and they are really pigmented I, I enjoyed using them a lot
And last but not least, I've swatched the acrylic markers we received. First, I went with the Graph Master one. I'm quite happy that I received the big um, one and not the medium or the small one. Um, not sure about uh, the color going great with the rest of the materials, but yeah, I'm glad I got this one. I quite enjoy chunky things and chunky markers. Then I swatched the Royal Talents markers. As I understand, we all received the same sizes and colors and those are a medium size marker in pink and three small sizes in a turquoise green sky um, blue and uh, a naples yellow color I need to make a disclaimer. What you're seeing now are a footage of me sketching and playing around with these materials and uh, what I'll end up doing will probably not be my upgrade battle entries. Um, I think I didn't mention before that the battle theme for this box is sketched dreams. And the sketch and uh, drawing I did uh, on the sketchbook is actually around uh, the this theme but to be quite honest as I said at the beginning of the video this month is really really busy for me and I did not have the time to finish this uh, drawing uh, quite as much as I would have, nor the time to think about it as much, so I'm not sure I really want to post it on my Instagram. Mm, I'll think about it, but it's not that I don't like it, I think that it could be mm, finished better and uh, the old composition and color palette could be better as well. I have to say that Maybe for me, this many colors all together, uh, they might have confused me a bit and because I didn't have time to plan it out properly, um, I'm not so convinced about the result, which is totally unfinished to me. But yeah, I did want to put out a video for this box and um, I wanted to showcase that I did play around with the materials before um, before I actually gave an initial opinion. Anyways, I'm not sure if this month in particular I'll be able to put out my entry for the battle, maybe in a couple of days. Um, if you want to see if I do um, put up an entry, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and you can check it out. I'll leave a link in the description as always. That being said, I did have a lot of fun playing around with uh, these mixed media materials um, on a sketchbook. It's a practice that I do enjoy a lot. I have to say, I didn't expect this box in particular to be another marker mixed media sort of box because we did receive one um, exactly on the same lines last month so that was a bit of a bummer if I'm honest and um, yeah being the box number 24 also means that this is uh, the second anniversary of upgrade so I maybe expected something a bit more special but maybe I'm just I mean I don't know, I'm just being picky probably. Let me know what you think about the box and what was your experience down in the comments. I would love to hear uh, your thoughts on it. 
and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.